Welcome to this short introduction video. In this video I show you the Voice Over Maker interface. In this view you will find the latest news or features about Voice Over Maker, so check the news from time to time. On the left side you can see the main navigation. You can switch to the light mode, among other things. At the top left you can fold and unfold the main navigation. The next menu item are projects. First you have to create a project. I'll show you that once. Here I enter any project name. In this view you can filter or edit all your projects. Furthermore, you can see in the table how many voices or transcriptions are already available in the project. In this search field I can search the projects by their names. If I click on this icon, the menu for the project is displayed. In this menu I can rename the project or translate it into another language. That means all the voices in this project will be translated into the language you want. And of course I can also delete the project here. I open the project by clicking on the project row. In the project view you have the possibility to create voices for different purposes. On the left side you will find all options for creating voices or audio files. As an example I will now create a voice here. The first thing I want to do is select a voice and enter a text. This is an example. Here I give a name as it should be displayed in the overview. The voice is now saved in this project. You can also click on the icon here and select the appropriate option for this voice. You want to create a podcast or a dialogue between several persons then the next option is something for you. Here you can add different voices or languages on a timeline, and you will then receive an audio file as an export. I am now adding two different voices to show you how this works. I have now saved the first voice. Now I select a different position on the timeline and insert the second voice. Here you can see the two voices. Now I click on play. Hi, my name is Annette. Hi, my name is Carly. As you can hear, several voices can now be used here and you can, for example, build up a dialogue between multiple persons. You can click the pencil to edit the voice. Or you can simply drag and drop the voice on the timeline. On the right side you can adjust the speaking speed. Hi my name is Annette. Hi my name is Annette. If you want to change the volume of the voices, you can do this with this slider. Hi my name is Annette. On the X I can just close the view. After I close the view I just click the button again to open the view again. All voices and settings are loaded. Next we have the batch function down here that allows you to upload text files and have voices generated from them. There are two options you can choose depending on how you want your voice files to be generated. With the first option you can upload multiple text files and a voice will be created from each text file. With the second option you can upload a text file and a voice will be generated from each paragraph in the text file. On the right side you will find options for positioning voices directly under a video with a timeline, for example explainer videos. I now drag and drop my video files here. The video is not uploaded, so you have to select the video file or drag it in here whenever you open the project again. Since it is the same project, the voices from the podcast are loaded here. Hi, my name is Annette. Hi, my name is Carly. As you can see, I can place the voices directly below the video. Then I have other options here. For example, I can export the video or just the audio files. With the transcription option, I can transcribe the original audio of the video and create voices from the transcription. Or I can translate the transcription into another language beforehand so that I can quickly translate the video. 
I also have the option of trimming the video here. In the lower area of the timeline you can add background music if you want, you can simply drag and drop the mp3 into the timeline. As a next possibility you can also create a screencast with which you can record your screen and then use text-to-speech to create a voiceover. The next menu item here on the left are the voices, where you can filter or preview all voices. As an example, I'll filter a few voices to show you how this works. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. I can also filter by voice quality here. With the star I can add the voice to my favorites. The voice will then be displayed at the top of the voice dropdown. The next menu item is the audio player. The audio player allows you to quickly and easily convert all of your website articles into audio, so that your visitors can hear them read aloud on the website. Learn more about it in an extra tutorial. You can find all of our tutorials on YouTube or under the menu item tutorial. In the last menu, on the left side you can top up your credits, manage your account or add team members to your account. You can also find the history of your created voices here, but only the last 30 entries. Here you can add an employee. You then have to provide your employees with the access data manually. In the top menu bar you can view your current balance, access the support form, or access your account. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe. See you next time.